All right, in this video, we're going to look at a few examples for solving uh, vertical adjacent complementary angles, level two problems within the Delta Math online system here. And so you can see there's a lot more relationships here, and you're going to have to really figure out each angle and kind of work it like a puzzle. So let's start off with, we've got the 117, and you know that's vertical with uh, the angle E there. So they're going to be the same. So I'm going to put 117 here. Then... Um, if we look here, we see these three angles along a straight line. Well, the angle addition posture, that means those three angles have to add up to 180 degrees, right? So we can figure out that little missing angle there by going 117 plus 30, that's 147, and then going 180 minus 147, right? So 180 degrees minus 147, which gets me 33 degrees. I could have wrote an equation as well, right? We could have went called that X if we wanted to and went, uh, or I can call it F because it's vertical. This angle is vertical with this, so let's call it F. So we can went measure angle F plus 30 plus 117 equals 180, right? And then we would have solved for F and we get this to be 33. Again, those two angles are vertical angles. So, so it might be... Uh, kind of awkward here is like we found the angle they weren't asking for, but we needed that in order to get angle F. So now we're in business here to find measure angle D because we know that this side, those three angles add up to 180 degrees by the angle addition postulate. So we can simply go the 117 plus the 33 and find D. Or now I look at it closer, um, we also see that it's vertical here, right? So D is going to be 30 degrees. So there's more than one way to drive a lot of, on a lot of these types of problems here where there's multiple steps. So let's go ahead and enter our answer, see if we're right. So for angle D, we said that's 30. Angle E, we said that's 117. Angle F, we said is 33. Let's go ahead and submit it. And we got it right. Look at our next problem here. So we have three angles along a straight line. So it's not a linear pair, right? Because that's the only when you have two angles. We have three in this case. But we do know that those three angles add up to a straight angle. So we use the angle addition postulate, parts equal the whole, to solve this one. So we know that A plus the 90 plus the 21 has to equal 180. Where did the 90 come from? the right angle, right? Remember that right angle is 90 degrees. And so then we have A plus 111 equals 180. We're going to subtract 111 from both sides. And we get A equals uh, 69 degrees. Okay. So now we come in here and we're going to enter that. Submit. And we got it right. All right, let's do one more example. Let's do one more of these uh, multi-angles problems. We've got to do a lot of work here. So let's start off here with what we know. If D and the angle 106, those are vertical angles. So bam, we know that angle D is 106. So the vertical angles are congruent. Their measures are the same. Now, same thing with E and the 54, right? Those are vertical angles. So this is 54 degrees. All right. So now to find F, um, all we're going to do is use that idea of a straight angle is 180 degrees, right? And that those three angles add up to the one straight angle, right? The angle addition postulate here. So we're going to go 106 plus 54 plus the measure of angle F has to equal 180, right? So 106 and 54, that's going to get us what? 160 plus the measure angle F equals 180. We're going to subtract 160 from both sides, and we're going to get 20 degrees, right? So we get F equals 20. So now we got to be, again, be careful. Make sure you put the right number in, in for each variable. So for D, we said it's 106. For E, we said it's 54. And for F, we got 20 degrees. Uh, submit. And that's all there is to it. 